There's no insulation. Pass the plastic. So do you think that that's just this room or do you think it's everywhere? I, I think it's everywhere. You've got an opportunity here to maybe blow in some insulation. If you're going to do it, this is the time to do it. Hey, Haligonia, you're watching DIY Mom. Episode 3, The Demolition Continues. Finding no insulation in this house wasn't the only problem we encountered. We also uncovered a lot of rot in the ceiling of the sunroom. The culprit, the above deck. It was leaking for years and just getting patched time and time again. So what are my options here? Well, I can rip out the ceiling, repair and replace it, or this may be an opportunity to shift what I was going to spend on fixing up the green bathroom. Keep my bathroom renovation as low cost as possible, which means I'm keeping the green tub and I know some of you out there are one of the big fans of this green tub, some people not so much, but I'm gonna see if I can really elevate it and make it classy and feel fun. Which means I'm going to spend the money on doing an extension instead. Ugh, it's gonna cost me a lot of money, but if I can be smart about it, a master bedroom with an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet Closet is going to add a lot of value to this house. It's happening. It's a good thing I have some strong guys who are able to help me rip out this roof yep. and a great junk removal service in 188 Junk Bin. I'm really grateful for that. After we ripped out the stucco ceilings in the living room and the old dining room, we discovered these beautiful pristine ceilings. So it seemed like such a shame to cover them back up. Justin from New Way Painting was in yesterday and he primed the ceilings by spraying them with the Seco Go Prime Stain Killer. And this is a really great all-in-one sealer and primer that's going to cover the knots and keep them from bleeding in our ceiling and do a really nice job of highlighting the, the rustic wood look that we have. And for the ceiling finish, we're using the Seco Evolution paint, which is a really great high-end paint. And that's going to be how we're going to finish our look for our open concept wood beams here in the living room and kitchen. Thanks for watching DIY Mom, episode 3 of the Welcome Home Project. And tune into Haligonia every Tuesday at 10 a.m. as I navigate my way through this renovation story. Not to your school?